I want to talk about three specific bills um, and, and initiatives that are being considered for this next legislative session. Uh, one of the bills is uh, an all, uh, revision to Chapter 39 in the RCWs under the Alternative Works Contracting. And what the intent uh, is to do is to alter the law um, to as it relates to the evaluation of prime vendors for, this, for state contracts. So the goal is for all state contracts as well as city, school district, ports, all, all governments, municipalities, counties that are fit under the state, when they select a design build contractor or a general contractor construction manager, that they consider an additional element in their evaluation criteria. And that is tied to the inclusion of small, socially, or economically disadvantaged firms. And that bill was proposed last session, uh, and it was called House Bill 2327, for those of you who want to look at the exact language. And it, that language actually passed CPARC. However, when it was introduced at the uh, state level, um, they received some uh, critical input from uh, a special interest group that's no longer present, um, and it was the only critical feedback. However, there wasn't a lot of small businesses that really chimed in. And if this is a bill that is important to you, if this is uh, a contracting methodology, if there's projects, large projects that you would like to participate in um, that are typically design build or GCCM projects, I'd encourage you to definitely chime in. We had one of our PRC members who left early, Christine Betty, Kristen Betty with KBA, who also sits on the PRC. Um, a lot of the small firms that I've talked with have tried to participate on these mega projects, but they haven't really been able to get their foot in the door. And part of the reason was there was no reason for them to get involved. There was no vested interest. There was there was no incentive for a large vendor to work with a small vendor. However, I have just found out that both Obama and Romney spent four minutes talking about small business. Everyone's talking about small business. So small business need to talk about small business. So this is an opportunity for you to chime in and perhaps develop some legislation that can create opportunities. This is, uh, again, information. I'd love for you to look into this yourself and formulate your own opinion and provide us with your input so we know how you feel about this legislation, if there needs to be tweaks to it. Um, but there's some people here in this room that have skin in the game as it relates to this subject. So it's important that you make sure that you vocalize this opportunity. And the other two bills uh, or initiatives that are uh, being considered that really pertain to communities of color and small businesses and our, and our, and our kids <laughs> in our business environment are the, uh, an infrastructure bank is being uh, considered as an opportunity to drive more projects into this environment. So that is something that you may want to look into. Is a public bank something of value? Would it help you? Would it be able to create an opportunity that the conventional banking system and public environment system is, is created? So that's something else uh, that needs to be uh, considered and discussed. Um, so any information that I'm able to gather, I will share with the group. But I'm hoping that we'll be getting some input on both sides of these, of these subjects so we can make sure we have a well-rounded discussion moving forward. The final issue is something really tied to education and making sure that our, our kids are not left behind. Um, and though I could talk about the subject, uh, we have a subject matter expert here who has more information uh, on uh, charter schools.